Hello everybody. Today we are going to learn line clipping algorithm. Before moving further, let's have a look on the, uh, the terms which we are going to cover in the couple of minutes. First, we will see some basic terms uh, that is window, viewport and clipping which forms the basic of line clipping algorithm. And then we'll move to the line clipping algorithm. The world coordinate system is used to define the object space that is the real time object or scene which we are viewing is defined into the world coordinate system and this world coordinate system is device independent coordinate system. When it comes to view an object on a computer or any of the display device then we are going to define it into the screen coordinate system which is the space in which the image is being displayed. World window or clipping window is a rectangle in the world defining the region that is to be displayed. So whatever we are having in the clipping window is going to be displayed on the screen whereas the part of the object or image which is outside this clipping window would be discarded. The screen on which the image is being displayed is known as interface window and the rectangular portion on the interface window where the image is going actually appear is known as viewport. To display an image, world coordinate system is to be converted into screen coordinate system and this transformation is known as viewing transformation. Let me explain you this transformation with the help of example. Here we are having a real time scenery which we are capturing through a camera. When this has been captured, it has been defined into world coordinate system. Here we are having a rectangular clipping window. So all the part of the image which is inside this window would be displayed whereas the other part of the uh, image which is outside this clipping window would be discarded. Now when it, uh, the time comes to display this on the screen then wherever I am going to display this on the screen is known as viewport and the, this image is being displayed with the help of viewport coordinates or also known as screen coordinates. Thus window to viewport mapping is a process of mapping or transforming a two-dimensional world coordinate scene to the device coordinates. Clipping. Now we are in the position of defining clipping. Clipping means removing the part which is outside the clipping rectangle. Thus the simple definition for clipping is it is the process of cutting off the parts of the image of the world. Here is an example. We are having a red rectangle which shows our clipping window. The part of the image which is outside the rectangle will be clipped off or ignored and only the part of the rectangle uh, image which is which comes inside the rectangle would be displayed. Next for any clipping we have to check whether the point which forms a line lies inside the window or outside the window. So for a point with the coordinate x and y if it is inside the clipping rectangle it should follow the following condition. The x coordinate of the point should satisfy the condition that the value of x should be greater than or equal to x mean and it should be less than x max where x mean y mean x max y max are the coordinates of the clipping window. Similarly, if a point, y coordinate of a point satisfy the condition y min less than equals to y less than equals to y max, then the point is said to be inside the clipping window. Let's consider the point A with the coordinates x and y. Here, the x coordinate is greater than x min and less than x max. Also, y coordinate is greater than y min and less than y max. Thus, the point A is said to be inside the clipping window. Consider point B. Here, the x coordinate is greater than x max and y coordinate is 
greater than y min but less than y max even though the condition is satisfied for the y coordinate but as x coordinate doesn't satisfy the given condition we'll say that point b is outside the clipping window let's move to our line clipping algorithm first let me show you the different line segments or cases which where the line clipping is used here consider a line segment with the points a b the whole line segment lies inside the clipping window hence in the output we will show the line segment as it is next case here we are having a line segment which crosses the top boundary of the clipping window let's say the intersection point would be d dash so the portion of the line segment from d dash to d is outside the clipping window hence we ignore or clip that part and only display the part from c to d dash another line segment ef which is outside the clipping window the we won't display any of its part in the output in another case we are having a line segment which crosses through both the boundaries the horizontal boundary as well as the vertical boundary so in this case we need to find out the two intersection points with the um, clipping boundaries let's say in our case g dash and h dash so only the g dash to h dash part of the line segment would be visible whereas g to g dash and h dash to h part would be clipped off the line algorithm line clipping algorithm which we are going to study today is cohen sutherland line clipping algorithm which is based on the region codes here we are going to find out the region codes for the nine regions of the clipping window the clipping window is been given or initialized with an output 0000 and the rest eight neighbor regions of this clipping window are going to be assigned with the output with the uh, by satisfying this condition bit 1 of the output is set to 1 if it lies at the right left hand side of the uh, clipping uh, boundary here this case here we are having bit 1 set to 1 as it lies in the left hand side of the clipping window if the point lies at the right hand side of the clipping window then we will set bit 2 to 1 see in our case we have set bit 2 to 1 similarly we will set bit 3 and bit 4 to 1 if it is at the uh, bottom of the clipping window as, and at the top of the so for bottom of the clipping window we will set bit 3 to 1 and for top we will set bit 4 to 1 for line clipping algorithm we are going to assign the outputs for the two endpoints of the line segment and this is the reason why we are also calling this algorithm as cohen sutherland output algorithm so the very first step of the line clipping algorithm is to find out the outputs for the endpoints of the line segment after calculating the output for the endpoints of the line segment we will check for the visibility of the line segment there are three cases to check for the visibility case 1 a line segment is accepted that is is that is it is completely visible if the outputs of both the endpoints are zero that is lies between the clipping window case 2 a line segment is rejected or ignored if the output of both the endpoints are having one at same bit position or the logical and operation of the output is non zero in this case the line is completely invisible and hence it should be completely ignored if the first two cases are not satisfying then we can say that the line is partially visible and here we require clipping let me explain the algorithm with an example here we are having a clipping window with the coordinates x w x min and w y min and w x max and w y max the output for the window would be 0 0 0 0 and consider a line segment which crosses a window with the with the starting point as p1 and end point as p2 
So the first step is to find out the outputs for point P1 and point P2. The point, the output for the point P1 would be 0, 0, 0, 1 as it lies at the left hand side of the clipping window. So the first bit would be set to 1. Similarly, the output for point P2 would be 1, 0, 0, 0 as it lies exactly on the top of the clipping window. After finding out the outputs, the next step is to find out the intersection points with the horizontal as well as vertical boundary of the clipping window. So we'll find out the two intersection points, let's say P1 dash and P2 dash. To find out the coordinates of these points, intersection points P1 dash and P2 dash, we may make use of the line equation. Here to find the value of y coordinate of P1 dash, the equation would be y is equals to m into x minus x1 plus y1, where m is the slope of the line segment defined by p1 to p2 x is the x coordinate which in our case is w x mean x1 is the x coordinate of point p1 and y1 is the y coordinate of point p1 and y is the actual coordinate y coordinate of point intersection point p1 dash similarly we will calculate the coordinates for point p2 dash as x is equals to x1 plus y minus y1 by m where m is the slope of the line segment y is the y coordinate at in our case which is y, w y max y1 and x1 are the x and x and y coordinates of point p2 and x is the actual x coordinate for the intersection point after calculating the intersection point coordinates the line is been clipped and only the portion of the point of the line formed by the intersection points P1 dash and P2 dash is going to be displayed. Wx mean comma y is the coordinates for P1 dash and x comma wy max is going to be the coordinates for P2 dash. To summarize our algorithm, we are first going to assign the region codes to the endpoints of the line segments. We are defining the region code. We will set bit 1 if it lies on the left hand side. We will set bit 2 if it lies on the right hand side of the clipping window. We will set bit 3 if it lies on the bottom of the clipping window. And set bit 4 if it lies on the top of the clipping window. After assigning the outputs, we are going to check for the visibility of the line segment. If both the line segments are having output as 0, 0, 0, 0, then the line is completely visible and we will display the line as it is on the window. If the we are having uh, bit 1 uh, uh, set at the same bit position or the logical ending is non-zero, then the line is completely outside and in this case, we will reject the line segment. Otherwise, the line is partially visible and we need to find out the intersection points with respect to the clipping window. After calculating the intersection points, we will draw the visible part of the line segment by joining the two intersection points of the line segment. Hope you understand the cohen sutherland line clipping algorithm better. Thank you.